to be two capital G here got an incredibly hype and awesome uh, door for you guys to check out this is another one of those oh my goodness how in the hell did you possibly pull this uh, comeback off especially considering at the top you have I would say a pretty competent deck I mean it's your traditional like Prada plants mixed in with a bunch of fusion cards you got your shearing noise basically a 60 card grass deck except it's not you know running grass anymore because that's banned and it's not 60 cards and then at the bottom you have uh, fucking aliens you remember that archetype from uh, I, I feel like they're from 5ds I'm almost certain because they're synchro based and uh, yeah they're aliens and that's a thing and he's even making it even more table 500 because he's running the earthbound immortal reptile I forget which one of the dark signers used this on 5ds but it was pretty damn bad and I'm almost well they all lost so <laughs> there you go I was gonna say they lost and he's also running divine serpent gear which you never really see so let's just go ahead and roll this i would say just on paper this is an absolute mismatch this deck is probably one that can be pretty decent this deck should be no it shouldn't win this duel at all let's go ahead and roll it see what's going to happen all right so he summons the shock trooper 1900 vanilla just passes turn his opponent does open with ortho scorpio i don't really think before he even searches right i actually don't even think there's anything good for him to search because he already has instant fusion and brilliant fusion so it's like what what are you even searching <laughs> are you searching refusion maybe you run that but i mean if not he's just gonna search like yeah he searches another instant fusion they're both hard ones for turns all right he's got the uh he's got the destrude on the grave he's gonna go for the best monster of 2017 which was a uh, sea monster of Theseus. he makes an omega right now, he wants to make sure his opponent can't completely pop off, so he's going to go ahead and activate this Planet Pollutant Virus, and basically it blows up all monsters your opponent has on their field that doesn't or that don't have A counters on them. So he's actually going to nuke his opponent's entire field unless, which he does, he's going to chain that Omega. He's going to snipe out a card from his hand. Brilliant Fusion is going to be played. Trick Clown's going to summon itself back, and I believe he's going to go Solitaire off the a second normal summon. Get you and a zombie, drop probably a Mizuki in the grave. Uh, yes, there's a Mizuki. Here's Omega number two. So, yeah, he's going to lose his entire hand, by the way. So, rest in pepperonis to your hand, and then he's going to go for Omega number three, just for good measure. So, we already have a competent deck versus table 500, and now the competent deck has three Omegas. So, this, this is a free duel, right? This guy has no hand. He has, what, one one copy of an e-virus that he can't even use like this is 100 already a free duel now he can't attack because you know zombies a unit zombie locked into zombie monsters but let's see what happens and uh by the way he uses omega to put the gab back in his uh graveyard which means the gab will actually never come back so that that card is lost permanently although his omega will come back layer of darkness plus e-virus i like that cheese and he's able to actually get one of the omegas down he loses terraforming uh off of his draw phase so one omega is down but he still has two to go like this is there's no way he can win this duel's over come on cap he can't win this duel you can't beat double omega he has a life point lead he got that at least loses his hand of course because because, uh, you know, Omega. And check this top deck out. He gets a copy of Grinning Virus. He also loses the second card, the Earthbound Immortal. And when he goes to battle phase, he's going to give up that uh, that monster for Grinning Virus. And now he only needs to kill one Omega. And I'm like, yo, can he actually do this? Can he out three Omegas with a Table 500 deck? The answer is going to be revealed this turn. Yes, he's going to summon the Amorite. And, um... Then he summons Shock Trooper, and I told you guys this card is actually useful. Goes into Relinquish Anima, and the Omega just happens to be in the same column as the uh, Anima. And since he doesn't have the, he doesn't have a hand. Unfortunately, Omega can't activate its effect, and basically he attacks, attacks with the Shock Trooper, and then with Anima, who's 2800, and he somehow ends up winning this duel. Like what? I, I don't understand how you make three Omegas turn one, take your opponent's entire hand out, and you still somehow lose the duel to a table 500 alien dart virus deck but uh yeah that that's Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's why i like doing these daily duels i'm not gonna show the the alien deck because I'm pretty sure that it's not going to win any more duels. This may have been the only duel that it won out of like 500, but it doesn't matter because that was good enough. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, nice little duel. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.